very special family meeting was held at the Villa d'Este at Lake Como. At the cradle of automotive beauty contest, a selection of Alfa Romeo 6C 2500 SS coupés met at the Villa d'Este for the event, Villa d'Este Style 2015, one lake, one car. A weekend of elegance, style and design. Owners of Alfa Romeo Villa d'Este classic cars from all over the world Owners of Alfa Romeo Villa d'Este classic cars from all over the world united for the fourth time at the Lake Como. For the valuable and valued automobile, this participation is like a trip back home to the origin. Being grouped under the huge plantain tree on the grounds of the Grand Hotel, it creates an image of harmony. The history of Automotive Beauty Concours began at Lake Como. Here they gathered in former times, showing new cars and proudly presenting the magnificent and mostly individually produced bodywork. The audience chose and in the end there was a winner. One of these cars was the Alfa Romeo 6C 2500 SS Coupé with a stylish bodywork by Carrosseria Touring which won in 1949. Soft flowing lines, a dynamic overall impression and everything on the sports chassis of a 6C2500 SS. This convinced. Owner Signor Fontana is proud that he was able to buy one of the rear classic cars for his iconic hotel. Only a mere of 17 cars is known to be still existing. We thought that it was very important to have a car and uh, the name, this is unique really, uh, in our hotel. Yes. So uh, we decided uh, to bought it, considering that in the 1949 it was uh, the best car of that year here in Villa d'Este and the name of the hotel was done to the car. So we thought that it was uh, really important to have a car like that in our uh, hotel and in our beautiful uh, Maison we have here. Today, the Hotel Resort Villa d'Este is the only hotel in the world after which a luxury vehicle was named. Villa d'Este was the ground of the first Concours d'Elegance, which started Concours d'Elegance Villa d'Este, which started in 1929 and um, was continued until uh, before the Second World War, was forgotten for almost 40 years. And, uh, at the, at the end of the 90s, it was revived, revitalized by Villa d'Este. The noble Alfa Romeo Villa d'Este was built with a total of 31 cars and each equipped with the respective special wishes of its owner. At first glance, the bodies appear almost the same, but the impression is deceptive. Each vehicle was made by hand and is therefore not only unique, but carries the legacy of its first owner until the present time. It's the history of the car. Um, Mr. Anderlohn, uh, who is here too, is the son of the owner of uh, the touring supernatural coach work firm. And this car is the really very last example of all the 60 cars from the 30s on until 52. And this car, there were, was no public anymore. There were no customers that could afford a car like that expensive. So this car is the very last car, not made for a client, but there was no client, he had the car, finished the car with accents, uh, very simplicity, uh, perfect lines, um, so it was called, what his son said, the last dance of the swan. 
the determination of the Alfa Romeo Villa d'Este in style and design of Carrosseria Touring towards the earlier design and its successor could be retraced with the overall picture of the Villa d'Este Coupés. 2015 was a unique opportunity to compare. Two models of the evolutionary history of Alfa Romeo took part, a 6C 2000 Sport with an earlier Touring chassis and a 1900 SS Touring which was produced in the 1950s showing the next step in the future of touring, still almost entirely made by hand at the threshold of serial production. That the Alfa Romeo Villa d'Este makes a bella figura was shown during a cruise along the Lake Como. The destination was the Villa Leone in Osuccio, a protagonist of Italian realism whose heyday was around the time of the construction of the Alfa Romeo Villa d'Este.